Good morning, good morning, good morning. Another beautiful Saturday morning at Donut Derlux. We are live and Dylan's here. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> walk around and check out some cars. Dylan, you want to walk and around and check out some cars with us? Sure. All right. Dylan's going to walk around and check out cars with us. I'm editing all my photos. Oh, he's editing photos. All right. Full truck rolling in. Cool convertible rolling in. Cool bike. Cool Catalina. Nice. Good looking C10. Really nice caddy. Good morning. Connie, good morning. Thanks for watching. I think he's trying to turn. Trying to get past all the hubbub over here. Morning. <laughs> all right. Lots of cool stuff going on this morning. I like this Catalina, so let's go check it out. Pontiac. I like this Pontiac. Really nice. I like the tail lights on it. Catalina convertible. Really nice car. I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? Cool car. It's a Catalina. Cool color. Cool uh, convertible. Nice interior. Interesting car. Can't say I've seen too many of them, honestly. Morning from Norway. Thanks for watching. All right, let's keep cruising. Okay. All right. Let's go up to the front and uh, show everybody this uh, dirt track car. Dirt yeah. track car, not car, uh, bike. Bicycle. Yeah. I don't know whose it is, though. Morning. And I'm assuming somebody brought this on the back of a truck, but it's really cool. And they, and they take the glass, they take the Yucca Valley, John, good morning. Good looking Nova over here too. The velocity stacks. All black. Stuck in Bakersfield. John. Oh, Josh. Sorry, Josh. Josh, what's up? Stuck in Bakersfield. Yep. You have to uh, bring the Camaro soon. I like the gold wheels. Sweet Riviera rolling in. Cool 55. Got some ghost flames on the front. Pretty full parking lot today. Here I am. Here I am. I like the velocity stacks in this thing. That's cool. 
inner fender wells are really nice on this car too. Got like the strut supports, inner fender wells. What we got pulling in over here? Nissan or Corvette, I don't know. Oh, uh, Corvette. Light blue Mustang. Two eight nine. Yep. Two eight nine down. in it. And I can't say I've seen this uh, Camaro that's next to it before. I don't know if I've seen this car before. I've seen this one. Before. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. I like the the paint job. The blue and the silver looks pretty cool. Continental kit, 57 convertible. That's uh, Johnny's brother rolling in. Dave Moore, yes sir, really nice. Really nice Impala, wow. It's got the Continental kit on it also. Really nice Impala. Do you like the uh, Continental kits on the back where the bumper comes out? Yeah? It's not. What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> having fun? Yeah. <laughs> He's got his admi admirers. Dylan's got his admirers. It's hard because you're walking when you're walking around with Dylan, you get stopped a lot. Oops, sorry. Because he's got his uh, his crew. Alan's car. It's like the uh, paint scheme on Alan's car. You got the uh, Indian guy here. Those got the cool stickers. Nez Robert, New York City. Got a good crew of people here this morning. Hey, what's up, man? Good morning. How you doing? Good, Sal. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. I thought it was really cool yesterday. How the what's the Cheval guy thing, Nick? Nick, yeah. yeah, he was like, come take pictures of my car. Come yeah, take pictures of my car. Yeah. He's been messaging me. Yeah? yeah? I thought that was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, please come take pictures. Yeah. Come make sure you stop and take pictures. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought that was cool. <laughs> He's a cool guy. Yeah. All right. Let's make sure we walk around. The uh, gentleman with the camera over here, the Wheelo, Will, takes awesome photos. Make sure you go follow him. On Instagram, he's got some really amazing photos up. This is a 57 F100 truck. Oh, Michael, there you go. Maybe uh, I think this is what I was checking out right here. It's got the Dano Live sticker on it. That's cool. I was talking to this uh, gentleman this morning. Really cool truck. Watch out. Watch out, watch out. Oh, there you go. 
We gotta go check out the uh, this monster thing again, truck. the monster truck. All right, so it's a do it Dodge Dodge truck. <clears throat> Jason needs a new truck. Hi. What's up, man? How's it going? You want more? Is that what you want? You want a hug? Sure. You want a hug? I'll take it. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going to quarantine cruise tomorrow? Yeah. Are you going? Yeah. Bring the big slip to your car. <laughs> you finalize that already. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> How much are these tires a piece? Like fifteen hundred dollars? More than I got. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Oh, is that what they are? Oh, really? Oh, I, I think he took it wrong when somebody's like, hey, that thing would look good with 20s. So, you know, <laughs> it kind of grew out of control. You know? <laughs> Pretty cool, though. Damn. Yeah, when he, when this thing pulled in this morning, I'm like, what in the f*** is that? <laughs> and he, he was saying, I was really surprised. He's like, yeah, the four-wheel drive is actually hooked up. I remember... I remember when we would go to shows for stuff and trucks were lifted a lot. None of the four-wheel drive was ever the hooked visible, up. Uh, drive yeah. <laughs> it, all, it all runs off Bluetooth. It was man. wireless. <laughs> I think he said he was on like a 90s Chevy chassis or something. Pretty cool though. <laughs> Somebody just lost a finger, maybe. Possibly. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. I like it. What do you think, Dylan? You can have, you can put a whole bunch of bikes back there. <laughs> and see this this is the this is this is good because the other the other Dodge this is your uh, this is the yin to the yang right here. You got the, you got like the the modern this patina, one, the modern patina like new, that one will this new bagged like Hemi over here. <laughs> yeah, you got the, like the new motor. the new five seven bagged patina. Cool thing over here. And then you got like a super lifted thing over here. Oh, that's my favorite ranchero. What, the ranchero? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? Because I like the wood paneling. The wood paneling, really? Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. Can you I like you like the wood paneling? Why do you like the wood paneling? Because it looks cool. Huh. It reminds me of Woody's in the 70s. Huh. Sure, I think you should. I will go live when we get done. I think you should. Oh, that one? The mint, the mint color? Matt, good morning. And then here's your guys' car. Tell me about your guys' not car, truck. Tell me about your your uh, dad, your dad's truck. Oh, excuse me. Tell me about your truck. Oh, okay. Tell me about your bike. Don't take it out. Just tell me about it. Okay. <clears throat> What's up with the bike? Uh-huh. What's up with the truck it's in, though? What's, what's up with the truck that it's in? What year is the truck that you guys you guys drove this morning? 65? 65 C10? Yes, sir. Nice. B 
BMM so is shifter. it a, a, automatic? Yes. Nice. I want to put stick in it though. What's going on with the uh, Volvo over here? That is interesting. That wow. That's a new day Vega. That's it. That's it. That's day that's, that's interesting. That's a new day Vega. <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting. All right. That's interesting. Let's go uh, see, chase the Volvo and see what's going on there. Really, really nice Riviera. No. Cool Riviera. That's my favorite part of the whole car. The dice? Yeah. <laughs> I really like the color. Yeah, the blue matches with the white interior. Really cool color. The white interior? Wow. Really cool. I like the white interior with the uh, exterior colors. Really cool. Really nice car. But I think there was a little politics there. Fifty seven convertible. I think he, he made sure that it happened. What the hell? Oh, okay. You want to you want to sell that versus the other one? Where is the one you're talking about? Over here? Oh, okay. What year is it? Do you know? Uh, a 73? Oh. And then probably like a whole decade off. Probably like 79 or something. I don't know. But it's kind of cool. Yeah, it is cool. It is a 73 Grand Prix. It is? And it's for sale for $10,000. That's kind of expensive. And here's it all the could be yours for $10,000. Here's all the details on it if you're interested. Kind of expensive, but we have some money. How do we go? My favorite Chevelle. Here comes Mike. <laughs> I am here. Good. This person kind of parked kind of funky over here, huh? I kind of just parked right where you turn. Okay. <laughs> it didn't park very well. C10s, please. All right, there's a gold one right here. Let's check it out. William. You got it, William. If you need it, we got you. Thanks for watching. Long Island, new work. CJ, thanks for watching, CJ. It's a good looking C10 right here. What year is this C10? Mustangs? Um, not 
right here. I think there's probably a couple around the corner. So if I find one, I'll make sure to, oh, one right here. There's one right there. 64, 65 maybe? Could be wrong on that. It's like a good uh, survivor car that not much has been done to, honestly. You look at Chevelle. Really nice. I like this thing. Morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. This is really nice. Whose car is this? Mine. Oh, is it really? Yeah. What year is it? A 40. 40? Yeah. Wow, it's really nice. Thank you. I really like the, uh, are those hubcaps or are those the wheels? No, those are hubcaps. I really like the, I really like those. Those are, those are kind of different. Yeah, they're 59 Buick. 59 Buick, huh? 59 Buick, huh? I got this picture. Oh, nice, thank you. How long have you had this car? <laughs> long time? 30 years. Wow. <laughs> yeah, when I bought it, it was Vinny's all original. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I really like the, the colors you chose and the, the red pinstripe and stuff. It's yeah. really cool. Thank you. It's due for another paint job. You think so? How long ago did you get it painted? Oh, it's been it's been quite a while, but it's yeah, it's starting to it's starting to show its age. Wow. So everything on this car is something you got done. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Molded in all all of the, the fenders and everything. Uh huh. Those were all molded in, and the running boards we used to have rubber running boards. And yeah. Went to metal and molded those in chopped the top and molded the drip rails in. Wow. What uh, what engine does this have in it? It's got a small block, 283. Mm -hmm. Small block Chevy. Wow. The I like how you did the, the headlights in there, too. It looks really nice. The what? I'm sorry? How you, how you molded the headlights and stuff? Yeah, molded everything. Yeah. Yeah, everything's been molded. And we wanted English Pete and it's got a lot of body work on it. Did you do all the body work on it? No, I didn't. You had it all done? I had yeah. a friend of mine that did it. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of, a lot of custom touches on this car. Yeah, a lot of it. A lot of body work hours in it. A lot. <laughs> a lot of people don't, don't really notice it. But I'm sure. But the hood is, the original hood is not peaked when we had it. I had it peaked the, 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 the roof and then the, took the cowl and and molded that in. Molded what part in? It's got a, 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 a towel. Oh, that yeah. Lift it up to, for breathing. Yeah. I closed it off and then I peek that and had the, the hood peeked off because this is the only peak that the car had originally. Oh, interesting. So I just peeked everything to go to kind of flow with it. Wow. Just stuff like that. This is a separate piece that comes off normally. Oh, so the hood could open? Well, it was so that you could have more access to the motor. Oh, okay. But I went ahead and, and I had I had it molded at the fender. You see where you know all of that is all molded in. Yeah. It had all of that enclosed. So. And, and you know what? When you see a lot of these cars that have so much molding work too, there's a lot of cracking. I don't see any cracking on your no, car. No, I've been pretty fortunate. He did a good job. Yeah, because he went like ahead and, and first he tack welded everything. Yeah, it was all tack welded and then molded and then he used the, just a bondo to smooth. Just it out. a little bit, yeah. yeah I, I'm sure you've seen just as many of these cars I have where there's a lot of cracking and all those. Yeah, it looks bad. <laughs> it's, the bodywork is okay, okay, one, probably okay, one, ten years old at least. Wow. Fine, fine. But like I said, the paint now it's getting to where I need to. To redo it <laughs> well it sure looks really nice still beautiful car really nice sure sits really nice too I like the pinstriping on the front too
Very nice. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. What do you got? Oh, we're doing filters? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, nice. That's a good one. Then I got that, the 69 Chevelle that went by. Oh, that's cool too. Are right, you want to go down here and uh, say hi to Mike? Yeah. Fuzzy. Fuzzy bear. Fuzzy bear, is that what you call him? <laughs> fuzzy bear? Why fuzzy bear? <laughs> I know somebody earlier was asking about a Mustang. This one's really nice. Got a Pro Charger. Oh, that's cool. That is nice. I like that. PCH I like the license Yeah. Man, he barely got the air filter in there, huh? <laughs> did a really good job fit you did a really good job fitting the uh oh he has a phone thing yeah that cup phone phone holder thing he did a really good job fitting the air filter in on the supercharger this guy's in uh, your guys's club Mustang. Got Jason's car. Oh, there's Matt. Here's Matt over here. Let's go check him out. <laughs> Try to keep up, all right? Coming? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's an original white on red and tan. Really nice. Uh, Blake's car, yeah. It's a 69 Chevrolet. Oh, okay. This is uh, Will's, Will's truck, right? Yeah. 56? Yeah. Will's truck? Really nice. 55, 56 truck? Got a thing back here for his uh, dirt bike. Matt's car, Chevelle, super nice on the inside. <laughs> Special parking for Chevelles. Handicapped, mental handicap parking. 
Rick's 69 Camaro. Yeah, well, I would have been here a half an hour ago. There's the back of that one. Oh, yeah. The hood's and open the now. The really rare Toyota Tacoma. The really rare Toyota Tacoma. I don't think those things go together. <laughs> I don't think those things go together. Uh, everyone's gonna get blocked in. Uh oh. Uh oh, Neville's here. Neville's here. She's a good little kid. Super B. Oh, Neville's pulling in. Watch out. Like a glove. Oh, there you go. Nice. Perfect. Like a glove. <laughs> All right. I'll have to give him Neville's car. Yeah. Yeah, I know. How many people do you have watching your car? Uh, there are 300. What? What do you have to say to them? Hi. <laughs> he has hi. I have high. like only five that do my life. What? Yeah. You're getting there. I have faith in you. Someday. What do you got over here? You got another car for sale. It's a Monte Carlo. 72 Monte Carlo. There are the details on them. Excuse me, sorry. It's got a harness 30. in it. Kind of expensive, 30. Pretty clean car though. Yeah. Can I get background? Of course. Pretty clean. Clean car. Good looking caddy over here. What else is uh, catching your uh, fancy while we're walking around? Anything? Uh, the I really, really like this 442 right here. I really the like Mercury? the wheels on it. Yeah. This is an overhauling like car, if I'm not mistaken. Mobile. This is an overhauling car that was an overhauling, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Oops, sorry. That Oldsmobile that's over there, and then the 1954 Nomad. Oh, okay. This car was an overhauling. Really cool. I like the wheels on it. Pretty full Corvette aisle too. This is better than before, right? Oh yeah, it's better than before. It's a boat and has a swim deck. It's what? A boat and it has a swim deck. A swim deck? The Continental kit? The Continental kit on this on this thing is pretty. That's a pretty. It's a fairly large Continental kit, huh? Dude, I can like live on there. <laughs> I really like the back uh, port windows on this thing are pretty cool. What year is this? I don't know. I don't either. 
50 He comes every week and I don't 50, know. 55, 56? I don't know. I'm going to take a picture of his car though. Boom. Let's ask. What year is it? If we see him. Yeah. Hmm, I'm not sure. 55, 56? Maybe somebody could correct me on the live stream and let us know. I don't see yeah. the gentleman that owns it. Oh, those are the two gaps. Yeah, you want to go check them out? Yeah. All right, let's go check them out. The dueling gassers. Fifty-three or fifty-four? Which year are they? I don't know. I think they're fifty-four. Yeah. I, I have. I think it's that cool one. that there's two of them. I have that one. Six cents all the way. Yeah. The wagon one's cool, but this one's really cool too. The They're sedan, both really cool. Sedan delivery. Yeah. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. See what's going on over here. Ah, uh, looks like a supercharger, but there's a lot of interesting things going on over here. It looks like. I'm confused. What is? That's this? a giant supercharger. On. Giant supercharger. Huh. Is this your car? So what's? Tell us what's going on here. I was going to say the supercharger looks huge. Yeah, well, it's a bad engine because it's 2.8, but it's, uh, I run 15 pounds of boost on it. Uh huh. And it's about 450 horsepower, but almost 600 pounds of Out of a, a four cylinder? <laughs> Jesus. I bought a new and the car 700,000 miles on it. This car has 700,000 miles on it? Yeah, I got to change the bed. Uh, well, it's a few thousand miles from 700 right now. Wow. So, um, since I rebuilt engines and done all that stuff, it's a, um, I have about 220,000 on that engine since I've done everything. Tail holds up super sweet. So the engine hasn't been pulled apart and has 700,000 miles on it? Well, no. This is the stock engine I took out and I swapped it to a turbo. Oh, okay. That was about 480,000. Uh -huh. that was without doing anything to that. So the stock Volvo motor was, you know, 100 horsepower. <laughs> they're, they're indestructible. Wow. And then, uh, so then I got a uh, turbo engine, and then I, I put that in for about a year and a half. And then mm -hmm. this is a stroke motor. So it's a turbo, but I stroke it to 2.8. Oh, okay. 2.1. Wow. And then I spent three days on the turbos and the turbos charge. I had a smaller supercharger, but I was going to get like six pounds of boost. Uh -huh. So I put this one on, and uh, now I get 15 to 20. So I run, I machine the pulley cord, so I only put 15 out, but wow. it's easier to run 20 something with this. But uh, everything's customized, I do everything myself. Wow. So what are your what are your plans with this car? Just to drive, just this is my daily driver. Oh, okay, just to keep to keep driving and get to to a million miles. Is that the deal? Uh, I don't care about that. You know, oh, okay. The thing is, is <laughs> I just drive it, and this is like my work truck too. These cars are so I'm not kidding. These cars are so functional. It's out of control. Wow. Um, I use this for everything. Wow. Know? So what year is it? Eighty. Yeah, I got an eighty station wagon. Wow. Okay, yeah. Very so cool. Let's like <laughs> <laughs> go check out the Mine's inside. Mine's got a lot of crap on there. Oh, yeah, no, this one I bought this new. 2.8. It has plug in ports right there. Like for. Look at that. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> he has these bits. Plug that, in ports. Dude, there's so much going on in here. Huh. Interesting. We've got a little fan back there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. What? Huh. This is like a mini house. Like, I mean, just look at that bender. It's giant. 
There's got there's some interesting stuff going Wait, on here, that's why, for sure. Why is there three? I don't know. Please tell me. I don't know. I'm not sure. Wow, that's uh there's some interesting stuff going on there. I really like oh, this comet. Yeah, this thing's cool. What do we got? It is 62 9K. Comet. 9K. Automatic inline engine, new gas tank, tires. Asking. 9K or OBO? 9K OBO. I think it's a cool car. Let's see. Let's check it out. Comment, I got this photo. Oh yeah, I like that. That's cool. That was a good picture of them driving in. Ooh, nice. It's a good rolling shot. So what uh, is the Comet uh, a, a brother of? No, uh, the Comet's just a re a rebadged version of what car? The Falcon. Really? Yeah, it's just a. A fancied up falcon. It's just a falcon that looks a little prettier. That's the prettiest. <gasps> That's my favorite. The mini? <laughs> Alright, let's go check it out. <laughs> Jay Weinstein. Huh? Jay Weinstein. I, I never knew the guy, but I, he lived just up the hill from the this is really nice. It's a really nice mini. Really nice mini. I've never seen one left and drive. I know, usually the, they're they're not converted, huh? That one must have been converted. Whoa! It's a twin with a front Wow, screen. that's cool. You that's, need that. That's probably a thousand dollars. That's exactly what you need right there. Yes. So I could. Yes. So I could. That is exactly what you need. So I could stretch my brother out when he's on the back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So you can stress your brother out when he's on the back. Exactly. So now I'm opening up closed military bases with the money. Okay, I want you to come look at this thing over here. Alright, one second. It's like a Porsche, <laughs> but it's like squeezed together. And he said it was like a Fiat and like three other. It looks like a Porsche squeezed. It was just squished. That thing. Yeah, you know, I was talking to him earlier this morning, but let's go check it out. Dude, it has like a giant motor for it. It's really cool. Really nice roadrunner right here too. Wow. That's a really pretty color. Is this a roadrunner? Yeah, it's really nice. Really nice roadrunner. Manual. Yeah, it looks like really car. Nice. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> if you were a car, this would be it. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, it's, it's not that I don't know, Alicia. If you live in this car, you're done. This would flip like a wheel on a car. Yeah, I don't know. It's a uh, Porsche, Porsche, Porsche wheels, VW engine. 
Doors open backwards. Definitely different, that's for sure. I think you should. <laughs> Alan, can you fit in there? Uh, no way. Uh, <laughs> I could fit in, but I'd never get in there. I'd have to uh, get a hoist. Yeah, that thing's That's so cool. That is, that is pretty cool. <laughs> kind of different. That's the same guy that owns the heavy Volkswagen. That he brings that heavy Volkswagen. Oh, really? Yeah, same guy. Oh, okay. The red jacket. Here that make, that yeah. makes sense, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> all right well i think i'm going to sign off now and go live on instagram thanks everybody for watching and this thing's really cool this fair line yeah yeah well, let's go uh, over and hit him up. <clears throat> I have never seen this before, and this thing's awesome. Dude, isn't it rad? Yeah, it's cool. He's working on it, he said. This thing's cool. Yeah, it's busy, huh? Double wide everywhere. Yeah. I think a lot of people might be doing something tomorrow. I'm not sure what it is, though. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Yeah. I'm not sure. Hey, Harper, what's the guy next to the tire? Because <laughs> there's you at the tire. <laughs> you might be as tall as the tire, but I don't think so. If you're standing in the planner, you might be as tall no, as the tire. Show, your surf, show Steve your surfboard. Show Steve you. Let's see your Steve surfboard. It. That's me. Ooh, Steve, that's a show that, how you surf. That's you a cool surfboard. I like it. <laughs> Tell your dad he needs to get you one of those like Costco foam boards for the summer. <laughs> oh, it looks like Mater, huh? I agree. It's from uh, what? That's Howard the Duck on the front. <laughs> Howard the Duck. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does look like Howard the Duck, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and sign off for now, and then I'm going to walk around and do the uh, Instagram Live stuff. But thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next weekend.